Welcome to another episode of the Meal Prep Monday podcast. I'm your host and founder of Prep Dish, Allison Schaff. In today's episode, I am discussing five things that are making me happy right now. Before I get into today's episode, I have an email to read from one of our customer subscribers, uh, Shana. Shana writes, y'all are a lifesaver. My husband and I were just talking yesterday about how worth it the monthly cost is because we eat out less than we used to. Plus, our favorite family time of the week has become when we all cook together on either Saturday or Sunday. Shayna, thank you so much for sharing. And I love hearing that you guys are, it sounds like you're doing your meal prep together and that loving that that's um, some family time. That's so cool that you're doing that. And also enjoy hearing that, you know, it's basically paying for itself because you're reducing the amount of times you are eating out. If you have not tried our meal plans, I have a free trial set up. It's 14 days at prepdish.com slash MPM. And you can try it out 14 days, see how it works for you. Okay, so on to today's episode. I just wanted to go through, I feel like for some reason, do you ever go through times? I go through times sometimes where I just feel like, wow, my mood is like really, like I'm just so happy right now. And like, what is it that's causing this? And I have a lot of habits and practices and things in my life to, you know, help keep me productive, a good mom, loving, happy, like all the things. You know, I've talked through all those in different ways and forms on the podcast. But the other day I was just reflecting, what things do I feel like are really making a positive impact in my life right now? And I originally had a list of five, but then I kind of thought of a few more. So it it got up to seven different things, all of them pretty like small. I tried to do ones that were pretty manageable, not so that you would do all of them, but of course, just thinking maybe you could find one out of the seven that might work for you. Okay. So I will just go down my list. I started with number one. (laughs) This is actually a bigger habit, but sleep. I feel like (laughs) if sleep isn't there, it's kind of the foundational. The rest of these are not necessarily in a specific order, but sleep is foundational. I think part of it is, you know, I have a nine month old right now and he is sleeping through the night. So everybody's sleeping better. And, you know, most nights there's always a night where a kid will wake up, but the sleep is there right now. I'm going to bed between eight and nine and getting up, um, around five. And I just love getting that full night's sleep. So I think that could be the key right there, but I will go ahead and go through some of the others as well. Um, number two in the mornings, having some time to myself. Um, it's sort of a quiet meditation time. I, journal, I read the Bible. I um, I do have a new app called Soak. And I've been doing a 21-day like happiness meditation. So it's like two or three minutes each day of, and then there's um, kind of like some, oh, sound waves in the background. So I've been trying it out. It's a new app that I just, I think I'm like a month in. Um, it's similar to Holosync. I still don't know if I'm sold on it versus Holosync, but it is kind of nice that it has these I don't know if they're 21 day or 30 day kind of programs that you can do. So that's one that you could look into or any sort of, you know, guided meditation app. Number three, I planted some radishes in our garden. Brooke has kind of been in charge of the garden this year, but I, in the past, have always had the most success with radishes. They take, I don't know, four weeks to reach, you know, full maturity and they're a lot they're easy. (laughs) So I was like, I'm going to plant some radishes in the garden. And it's been fun in the mornings, especially in the evenings, because the kids will all join me. We all go to the garden. We water for a little bit. They play in the dirt. So that has just been so much fun. And I like just sticking with something tried and true that's easy and that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to have some radishes by the end of it. Some of the other things, it's like they take so long that, you know, they get so close and something eats them or I don't know. They don't always work out. But so far, the radishes have been a lot of fun. Number four, this is something I've done for years, and that's my daily walks, just getting outside, going on a walk. It is a seasonal. So right now I'm still doing morning time, but I can tell with the season shifting, it's getting ready to shift to afternoon just with Texas weather. I have to do like half the year I do morning walks and then the other half I do afternoon walks. But those are just so key. I always say those are more for my mental health than my physical health, but you know, they're they're great for both. 
And then for number five, it's kind of a combination of three and four, but just being outside, making sure to get as much time outside as possible. I have certain work that I do outside. I am still writing my memoir and that I always try and have, I have a few spots outside where I can take my computer and write outside. I also even have a patio where until a certain time in the day, I can usually take like a call or even do emails or, you know, whatever work sitting outside. So I try and you know, both work and play outside as much as possible. Number six, I have mentioned this on here before, I think in habits, in some sort of habit episode, but I have one of those mini trampolines and I do like literally one to two minutes a day and that's it. Like, I feel like after that I'm kind of done. So I don't do these like big long workouts on it, but I try and get out there either first thing in the morning. It's also situated right beside my work desk. So any day that I'm actually sometimes when I'm working, I don't sit at my work desk, but if I do that little, I, so right before this episode, I was on there for like a minute and a half. I set a timer. I get on there for again, one to two minutes. And I just feel like it's an instant mood boost. So I try, if I do it in the morning, sometimes the boys will come out and they'll do it as well. It's really good for them to get their energy out. And you know, one or two minutes is so realistic. It doesn't really count it it's not even really a workout. It's just kind of like, oh, let me do this to get my energy up for the day. And I feel like it does make a positive impact on uh, my mood when I do that consistently over time. Number seven is (laughs) sitting down to family meals. Those make me so happy. You know, Tobin, the baby, he is joining us now. He really loves eating all of the food too. So it's fun that all of us now are sitting down to meals And just, you know, having that time and space where we can connect, we can hear about each other's day. It just really is such a special time in our house. And I make it a point to have that be um, sort of like this sacred time for all of us. Now, of course, to make that happen, I have the meal plans and just, you know, knowing that it's going to be healthy, tasty. I'm also getting enough protein, which I think also impacts my mood for sure. And I use our super fast plan. So I know that I'm getting that 30 grams of protein at each meal. I am always doing the protein boost on the super fast plans just to ensure that I'm getting the 30 grams of protein at all meals. So it's just been really good. I have a nice little rhythm with um, the meal plans and the family meals. I'm just loving that we kind of have this new, I think it's just all kind of baby schedule too. Like everyone kind of has, now that he has his nap and sleep schedule, you know, it takes a while when they're little, but I feel like kind of between the six to nine month mark, it sort of starts evening out a little bit. So we're just really enjoying this point in time overall. Um, Oh, I put in a bonus and that is just laughter. The baby, for some reason, he thinks I'm hilarious. And this is the best, I don't know, part of probably any day (laughs) lately is that I can just make him laugh so easily. And so it's so fun to laugh with him. I did that as a bonus because, you know, unless you have a baby around, it's hard to get in those baby giggles, but those are definitely mood boosting for sure. So that's all I have for this episode. I hope that you walk away with maybe an idea of something you could try and add into your daily routine. Again, if you want to try out those meal plans, you can go to prepdish.com slash MPM. We have 14 days free. And yeah, that's all I have for this week. I will be back again next Monday with another episode. 